Hello everyone, my name is Jose Simonelli and welcome to our Red Hat Consulting whiteboard videos and I have Brian Doran here and we're going to go over how do you secure your virtualized environment. But before we do that, can you kind of go over some of the things that you want to consider to secure your enterprise first? Sure, absolutely. So first things first, let's talk about authorization. We want to make sure we have limited accounts uh, on the systems and if we're tied to a centralized identity provider, make sure those accounts are limited as well. So next is the operating system. We want to have a hardened operating system, so you can use tools such as the OpenSCAP project uh, or your STIG if you're familiar with the STIG. Uh, after that, we want to talk about services. We don't just want to turn on the default installation and leave all the default services running. We really want to tune that down and only have <coughs> what's needed on. All right, now that we've talked about the enterprise, let's go into some of the security uh, considerations within the virtualized components. So before we start talking about the virtual model, let's take a step back and look at the traditional model where a lot of these agencies are at today. Uh, we have physical separation. Think of these two as a server. You know, we have a host kernel, host kernel, user space, and then our applications. So we have a web app and database application. As we move forward into the virtual realm, this changes from to shared resources. So now these virtual machines all access one host kernel on one physical server. So the thing to th keep in mind here, we want to have SE Linux enabled. SE Linux will allow us to utilize SBIRT, uh, which will really isolate these guests from accessing any of the shared resources. This is especially important if there's any security vulnerabilities on the hypervisor itself. All right, so yeah, we talked about SC Linux and SBIR. What are some other uh, considerations that you would have on the virtualization platform? Sure, so on the host side itself on the hypervisor, uh, we can separate out your network traffic by utilizing VLANs. Uh, something that's not often thought about is the storage domains. If you have shared arrays or shared data in these environments, we can actually separate that out in case there's any spillage of data. Um, Things to think from the guests themselves. Uh, you definitely want to use like the DM crypt uh, to encrypt all your data volumes that are you know, sensitive to you guys as well. So we talked about the technical pieces. What are some of the non-technical challenges in your uh, deployment of this? The biggest one we run into with the organizations is getting them comfortable with the technology. Being able to demonstrate to them that we can have true isolation within these guests uh, and they will be secure. You know, a lot of these Challenges we also run into are the gathering of the requirements, right? We need to go through and figure out what's applicable to the agency. So let's say you're at the customer site and you're tasked to secure their environment. Uh, what is one of the first things that you do to uh, talk to the customer about this? Uh, so requirements gathering, what are they trying to achieve? Sitting down, uh, you know, where, how are they going to virtualize? Are they going to do scale out versus scale up type of virtualization? Once we decide on that, um, we then take a look at their security, you know, requirements. You know, what, how can we meet these requirements? Is it going to be procedural or is it going to be done via technically, right? Um, can we meet that within the application itself? And then from there we would do the architecture and infrastructure design to make sure it meets those needs. That's a great point with the security guide. I know that there's additional sources out there. What are some other sources that you would recommend other people to view? So check out the open, open SCAP uh, content as well, the documentation, and like I mentioned earlier, docs.redhat.com for the virtualization and security guides. So what are some of the tool sets out there that somebody can utilize to, to make sure that they adhere to some of these security requirements. I mentioned it before, we have the Open SCAP project. You know, they can utilize that for some of the hardening aspects. We have um, some sub-projects in that as well for the virtualization pieces. So you definitely want to take a look at that project. Um, you know, depending on your criteria, if it's FISMA low, medium, or high, um, or you know, you have to be FedRAMP certified, you know, you can look at those, a lot of the tools that we have in place to help those people get to those certifications. All right, thank you for all this information. Thank everyone for viewing this video. And if you have additional questions, please reach out to Red Hat Consulting or go to our website to review the additional information located there. Thanks.